high-tech hub or alarmist no-go zone for early adopters. According to a top Israeli lawmaker, Israel risks damaging its reputation as a technology hotbed with its ban on imports of Apple's iPad. Robert Ilatov heads up the country's parliamentary committee on high-tech. The instruction today, regretfully, is that you cannot personally bring in your own iPad. This could essentially harm the image of the state of Israel as a high-tech power. The new tablet device still hasn't been officially launched in Israel, but iPad owners traveling to the country have had their new gadgets seized by customs authorities. The communications ministry says that the device does not conform to Israel's standards for wireless Internet devices and might be harmful to other Wi-Fi-enabled devices that do. The move has puzzled many citizens. I don't actually really see the problem why they don't want to bring the iPad to Israel. It's not fair that Americans can have it, and as well we can. We're looking like a bad country, only country in the world that we can get. Apple won't start shipping iPads to international destinations until late May, a month after it had initially planned. The delay is being blamed on stronger-than-expected demand in the U.S. market. Matt Cowan, Reuters.